most commuters are used to it by now, losing cell service almost immediately as they head underground. And while it is likely the place they will want it the most, most of them don't know that having good, reliable cell service underground is an actual option. Underground, it's a mad scramble to make last-minute phone calls and send out texts before boarding the subway. Once these commuters are in the tunnel, they're in the dark. But it's not because the infrastructure isn't in place. It was built three years ago. It's because the three major wireless carriers have yet to opt in. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why? Really? I think it's ridiculous, especially if the, if the infrastructure exists. That's so absurd that they can't just sign on. Yeah. Because they would get more use out of their networks as well. Like it makes pretty much zero sense. That kind of upsets me, I guess, because I'm going to be taking the subway to school every day, and so I'd obviously be able to like to use my phone getting to and from school. When BAI Communications won the bid to build and install cellular capable infrastructure across Toronto's subway system in 2012, they opened the service up to all carriers. But Freedom Mobile is the only company that has signed up. To your knowledge, why haven't the big wireless carriers opted into this? Really, that's a question for the for the big carriers. What I can tell you is we'd be delighted to have them and we're really keen to talk to them further about this. We reached out to the three companies for comment. In a statement Rogers wrote, we're focused on delivering a reliable, consistent experience for our customers and we'll always look at opportunities to expand our network. TELUS wrote, TELUS continuously looks for ways to offer its customers the best cellular network access possible. At the current time, we have no concrete plans to offer cellular service in the Toronto subway system. When pushed for a reason, they didn't respond. And Bell wrote, Toronto should take a close look at Montreal's better way of delivering mobile service in its subway system. Every wireless carrier in Montreal, including Bell, cooperated to build the necessary infrastructure. Mobile service from all carriers is now available throughout two-thirds of the Montreal metro and coverage continues to grow. In Montreal, all three companies are working together with the Transit Authority and rolling out a mobile network in the stations and tunnels. When asked if this was an option in Toronto, the TTC did not respond, but they say they're hopeful the companies will eventually jump on board. This is something that's done around the world now. I mean, obviously everybody, you know, we're in a connected age, everybody's got a mobile device. Uh, so we wanted to give our customers something, uh, a value add when they're in the system. For now, commuters are expressing their frustrations. There's so much times where you're rushing somewhere and you need to make a call emergency saying, Hey, you're late, or you're stuck on a train and whatnot, and you can't because you know you're underground. If there's any sort of violence or any sort of um, like like wrongdoing on the train, you actually are able to contact people for help, which is like really I think super super important. BAI te communications tell us that there are fees to use their underground services, but they wouldn't say how much.